Hey guys, my name is Tu. In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize uh, an NX template for the CAE application. So let's begin by creating a new fan file. So this fan file will save and we will serve this fan file will serve as a template. Click OK and OK again. So we will try to add something to this template. One of the options we can make is to create a physical to create a new physical property. For example, P solid create. In this property, we can choose to define a new material from the library materials, such as steel. So we click OK and OK again. But before that, we just rename this physical property. Close. And now we can also define a mesh collector that is associated to this physical property. And the name is steel metal. Click OK. So this is the physical property, uh, this is the mesh collector. We can always do a check. So this template consists of a steel metal and we can save it now. And we can proceed to the custom template location. For example, this is my custom template location. Because I'm using the CAE applications, I will need to um, read the .pax file of the CAE application with a notepad or any Word application, Word program. So we don't have look at the script here. We can just copy and paste. Uh, we don't have to understand the scripts entirely to do this. All we need to do is to copy and paste the script and modify some of the entries to suit our application. For example, whether this is a fan file, whether it is a sim file, and we can change the name and change the description of this template. So the ID has increased from 42 to 43. So notice that this is a fam template and this is the name. So what we need to do here is to copy the template created earlier. So this is the template we created earlier. Cut and paste into the custom template folder here. And copy the entire name with the extension and paste it on to this entry. So, okay, now we can save this .pax file and we'll try to see whether the template is already there. So if we try to close everything now and click new, the template is not here because we did not refresh uh, the annex session. So we just click close. And here I'll be starting annex using a batch file. So this batch file will uh, start, we run uh, en environment variables to set the custom template location first before starting annex. So what I do, I just double click on this batch file. Okay, so we click new, go to the custom or the CAE tab and we can find, voila, the template is already there. So we just click OK and OK again. 
So to verify, we have the exact templates. So there is the mesh collector steel metal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.